How you doing guys? If you carry pretty much anything for EDC or everyday carry, whether that's a knife or a flashlight or any sort of tool, sooner or later you're going to have to use it, which is why you carry it to begin with. And almost every time you do, someone says, why do you carry that or why do you have that? And it's kind of ironic and hilarious at any time they say that is because you're using it. It's the only way they know you usually have it. And uh, it kind of answers the question right there is that this is why I have it to use it for things like this. And most of the time those things are not normally very serious, you know, the power went out and you use a flashlight to, you know, find your way to the, the door or something like that, or you look in a box, or use a knife to open a package, or something s similar and usually not very serious like that. But there are times when super serious things come up and sometimes life or death situations, and that's one of the main reasons that we carry stuff like this, specifically something like a knife. And I was, uh, there was a few weeks ago, there was an article from uh, Quebec, I think it was a UK article, but the incident happened in Quebec where a woman was, uh, she was wearing like a Muslim headscarf and she, I guess she like fell down on the escalator or something and it got trapped in the escalator and it ended up choking her to death even though there were several bystanders trying to help her. And I don't think I have to tell you that it would have been extremely helpful for her or any of the people nearby to have some sort of knife on them because this is one, the knife that I carry almost always for everyday carry, there's several. Usually I have two different of these uh, Randall Ontario Rat folders that I've had one of these as my everyday carry for years and if not this it's usually a Cold Steel XL Vaquero or Cold Steel Voyager or something like that. But these are this one is non serrated and I have another one that has a partial serration on it so it's usually one of those two. And uh, even a simple knife like this, these are great knives, but it is relatively simple and straightforward, would just blast through any sort of clothing item, this headscarf, even jeans, a seat belt, if you're trapped in your car. So something as simple as a small pocket knife on you could make the difference between you being you or someone else being dead. And sometimes it's like this, you see something some, happening to someone else, because it's not always just going to be to you, but if you're out in public, there are situations that arise that uh, you may be able to save someone else's life too. So don't think that the... Uh, pocket knives and EDC are just for cleaning your fingernails and opening your package of ding-dongs can really make the difference in a life or death situation too. And if you want to check the uh, link in the um, video description beneath this box, I'll have a link to the, the article and so you can check it out and uh, see the situation. But it's pretty crappy. I imagine that would be a pretty uh, shitty way to die, especially if you're standing there trying and willing to help and just didn't have something as simple as a knife able to help you out. And this actually, being in the UK, it's probably illegal to, or I know it is illegal to carry most knives, probably any knife at this point. And uh, so they may not have been able to, but I would still be, I mean, you obviously have to choose at that point whether you wouldn't even want to live in a country like that, but if you did, you can probably f carry some sort of tool that would still work for cutting uh, through fabric or seatbelt or something like that, a hooked cutter, even if it's not a knife, something that you can use in a situation like that. But in the meantime, while we still live in the land of the uh, so-called free, I definitely recommend carrying a knife and at least a knife everywhere you go.